Hey what's up guys, it's official. As we all know, Galaxy S11 is going to have a biggest camera upgrade ever. And the main biggest sensor we'll see in the S11 Plus is going to be the 108MP one. And now Samsung has just detailed this 108MP resolution sensor. Samsung has released the video slash trailer of this 108MP sensor showing all the capabilities, details and power of this sensor. And if you thought that 108MP will end the smartphone game after 108MP resolution camera sensor, we will not see more than that. So let me tell you, you are deadly wrong. Samsung has started doping their 144MP camera sensor. Yes, that's literally insane. We haven't seen the 108MP in its full potential and Samsung is preparing their 144MP camera sensor. But more I'm gonna talk about it later in this video. So coming back to the official trailer of the 108MP camera sensor. So it's called Bright HMX and if you guys don't know so it's the same sensor that we have seen in the Mi Note 10. Yes, Samsung will be using the same sensor in the Galaxy S11 Plus. But with little bit tidbits, I mean, Samsung will be using the tailored version of this sensor in the S11 Plus. So thanks to the 108 million pixels in this sensor, you have so much sharpness going on. It's having a new ISO cell plus pixel technology, which is gonna let more light in. There's also a smart ISO technology for that optimal dynamic range. And as the word suggests, it is smart. This means it knows when to activate low ISO and when to activate high ISO. It also has a new tetra cell technology for the brighter, bigger pixels which will improve low light photography. And here comes the tailored version of this 108 megapixel camera sensor. In the Galaxy S11 Plus, Samsung will be using a non cell technology instead of this tetra cell one which means instead of this 2x2 binning technology, Samsung will be using 3x3 in the S11 to merge 9 pixels into one largest pixel of 2.4 micrometer. There is also a major improvement in the crosstalk which means Samsung has physically isolated the individual pixels to prevent the crosstalk and interference resulting in a much sharper and quality images. We also get a super PD there which is an improvement of autofocus in low lighting conditions specifically in fully dark environments where autofocus really struggles. So all in all, this sensor is really capable. All this sensor needs is the better software. We have seen with the Mi Note 10, Xiaomi's Mi Note 10, it didn't actually prove half the capability of this HMX sensor. Yes, I'm not talking about the HM1 custom tailored version of this sensor. HMX sensor is also pretty capable and powerful. I hope Google will adopt this sensor next year for their Pixel 5. But it's just my thought, obviously, Google is not gonna do it as far as we know Google. But it is expected that Samsung will also improve their camera algorithm next year. So hopefully, we will see the full potential of their custom 108 megapixel camera sensor. Also, as I said here towards the start of the video, that Samsung is already preparing a 144 megapixel camera sensor. They are planning to use a 14 nanometer process to make this high quality killer camera sensor, which is even beyond 108 megapixel that we have. But here's what I think about it. I don't think Samsung is gonna use it in their 2020 smartphones. I mean they has to keep something for their Galaxy S12. They cannot use same thing with the S12. Competition is getting stronger day by day and alongside the crazy design, Samsung has to upgrade their camera sensor also. So we may see this in the Galaxy S12. Again it's just my thought at this point. But we definitely get more news on that, so what you have to do is simply stay tuned by subscribing the red button and click on the bell icon and you know everything I have to do, you just have to wait. So stay tuned and I'll catch you in the next one.